In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can set custom gas for transactions with the MetaMask wallet. So if you're trading cryptocurrency or if you're buying NFTs, then you can use this to either save money and set a low priority transaction gas cost or to spend a lot more in gas, but to make sure that your transaction ends up on top of the stack and goes through first. Now I'm going to use Uniswap for the example here, but this applies to any situation where you have to pay gas for a transaction on the Ethereum network. So if you're buying NFTs or minting NFTs, and that is one of the main reasons why someone might want to set a high level of custom gas is to make sure that their mint goes through before everyone else's so that they get the NFT. But some circumstances where you might want to set a low level for custom gas is if it's a low priority transaction, you're not worried about what time it gets processed and you don't care if it takes 5, 10, 20 minutes or however long, but you just want to save money on the transaction costs. Well, I'm going to show you how you can set those custom gas limits in MetaMask right now. So first of all, I'm on Uniswap, I've connected my MetaMask account, and you can see we're ready to go. So let's say I wanted to make a swap, and again, you could do this with any transaction. Let's say I wanted to swap between ETH and USDC. Well, if I was gonna say swap 0.01 ETH into USDC, I would hit swap and hit confirm swap, and then at this point, I have the chance to choose the gas. So you can see right now, that the estimated gas fee for this transaction is $10.28. And that's at the current market rate. And actually, let me just go over here real quick and go to ultrasound.money, which is one of my favorite websites for tracking all things Ethereum. But you can see in the top left corner right now that gas fees are currently 33 guay. So that's honestly pretty mid-tier. It's not too high, but it's not super low. Low would be single digits or low teens, and obviously high would be something in the hundreds or above. And sometimes it does get there. So for example, if I scroll down to this chart, you can see how the gas prices vary over time. And this depends on the amount of congestion on the Ethereum network. So if a lot of people are trying to make transactions all at the same time, then gas fees spike. So for example, here on August 29th, we saw a massive spike all the way up to over 100 guay. And then at other times, when it's just low network demand, not that many people trying to make transactions, it will hover around 10. And that's usually gonna be you know, in the middle of the night or on weekends, when not a lot of people are trying to transact on the network. Anyways, back over to Uniswap and MetaMask. So the market gas rate is what automatically pops up when you go to do a transaction in MetaMask. And that is basically based on the current amount of network demand. But you can change how much you wanna spend. So for example, if you hit this button here that says market with the little Fox logo, you can choose whether you wanna go low, market, or aggressive. So if you choose the low gas option, your transaction is going to be a low priority. It's not gonna be processed quickly. Um, it goes to the bottom of the stack, essentially. So when everybody else that's bidding up the gas and is trying to get their transaction through first, once they're all cleared out of the queue, then your transaction will be processed, but it will be processed at a lower fee. On the other hand, if you want to set an aggressive gas option, then that's gonna put you on the top of the stack. So if you were, say, minting an NFT, there's only 5,000 of them, and you wanna make sure that you're one of the 5,000 that gets it, you could set your gas fees custom to aggressive as opposed to market or low. Now, you can actually take this a step further as well. What you can do though, if you want to go above and beyond these three basic options that MetaMask has, is you can hit the advanced gear option here. And this is where you can choose exactly how much you want to spend in gas. Now, an important word of warning here, I do not recommend setting the max base fee here too high, because if you set it really high, it's gonna get picked up by an MEV bot, it's gonna be processed almost immediately, and you are probably gonna spend a lot more on gas than you want to spend. So if I set the max base fee right now to something like a thousand guay, I can guarantee you my transaction will be processed immediately, but I would spend a ridiculous amount, 0.19 ETH on this transaction, and there's no need for that. Because the way this works is it's essentially a bidding market, and whoever bids the highest for gas fees is gonna be processed first. Their transaction is gonna go through first. So what you want to do if you want to go through faster is to set a bid that's above what the current market rate is. So we saw that it's currently about 30. So if I set my 
base fee to say 50 GUI or 60 GUI, then I would have a pretty good sense that my transaction would be processed quickly but not too expensively. And I think a good rule of thumb is whatever the max base fee is currently, you probably don't wanna do more than double that. Now, one exception to this is if there's, let's say 10,000 people at the exact same time, all trying to mint the same NFT and rapidly bidding up the rates of gas fee, I could try to set a, a custom gas to 60 and then by the time I actually try to process this transaction, gas is already at 100 or gas is already at 200. And so if there's some circumstance where you know you absolutely need a transaction to go through first and you suspect that there's gonna be so much network demand that the price of the base fee is gonna go up and up and up very quickly, then you might wanna set it to even higher than double the current base fee. And at that point, honestly, it's dealer's choice. You should set a limit of whatever you're comfortable paying. If I set the base fee right now to 250, it's gonna cost me 0.4, 0, sorry, 0 0.047 ETH to complete this transaction. So that's pretty expensive. Now on the opposite end of the spectrum, forgetting about people that are trying to bid to have their transaction go through first. If you just wanted to save as much money as possible, you could set a super low base fee of 15 or 20 or something like that. And then your transaction will be processed whenever the gas fees go back below that point. Your transaction will sit in the queue, it will be waiting to be processed, and then as soon as the network demand is low enough that that is actually the normal base fee, your gas will be accepted and your transaction will go through. So you can set a custom fee this way if you don't care when your transaction goes through whatsoever. If you set it too low, however, if I set my, my max base fee to something like five GUI, then I'll probably be waiting forever for this transaction to be processed. It basically won't go through ever. So that is a quick tutorial on how you can set custom gas for your MetaMask transactions. And this is gonna help you either save money or get your transaction through faster. Hopefully you found this helpful and have a great day.